Australia debuted two new faces to the test side as they looked to rectify their loss in Perth. Faf Duplessis won the toss and elected to take full advantage of the Hobart weather. Won the toss, what's happening? Yeah, we're going to have a bowl. Um, obviously the, the weather just upstairs looking up, there's a bit of cloud cover up above, so we're trying to make use of that. And take advantage they did. Oh, he's got it, has he? Yes, he has. It's a wide ball. Warner's gone after it and it's found the edge. It wasn't a particularly great delivery. The hosts lost a remarkable 6 for 31 in the opening session as Kyle Abbott and Vernon Philander ran riot. Edge! And take it comfortably. The master in these conditions. Oh, handy start! With Callum Ferguson needing to see out the hat-trick ball for his first in test cricket. It's the thigh pad. South Africa, can they be stopped? As Ferguson settled in. Callum Ferguson gets one on the pads. Can he hit the rope? Steve Smith met Philander halfway. Well worth a shout. Oh, there's a collision. Philander's down, whether he got the bat of Steve Smith in the middle of his back. But the debutant was outdone by a marvellous piece of fielding from substitute Dane Vilas. Oh, there's some pressure on here. Ferguson dives! A direct hit! has got the debutant! Rabada claimed Neville on review. Oh, now, leg side-ish. Oh, there it is. As Joe Many made things look easy. He's away. He's hit that nicely. There should be at least three here, I reckon, up the hill. He might even start with a boundary. He does. Oh, that's four more. Get him up the order. <laughs> Many was then outdone by Philander. Oh, we got him with a little ripper. As Captain Steve Smith anchored the ship. There you go, Steve Smith. I said he was seeing it well. Some unbelievable efforts in the slips court and saw Australia capitulate to all out for just 85. Got things going again at lunchtime and De Kock is now diving. In reply, Dean Elgar and Stephen Cook made things look easy. That's runs. It's nicely timed. But a fired up Mitchell Stark obliterated the Proteus top order. Oh, playing a miss. Oh, Edge! And he is. He's got two in the over after T. In this number four position. Edge and another one. With Josh Hazelwood joining the party. Hashim Amla found the fence and looked to have put his Perth failures behind him. There's a good stroke. Quickly into position and gave it all he had. That is, until Josh Hazelwood claimed his man yet again. Don't, don't. Josh Hazelwood has got it. De Kock and Bavuma then found some runs. Much the same as the first test as the score began to build. As that one gets struck beautifully down the ground. All he's done there is hit through the line. It'll just get to the boundary rope. With the two seeing stumps, the Proteus holding a lead of 86 runs, heading into day two at Blundstone Arena. It's five for 171, and South Africa have a lead of 86.